Axelon here, back with more Fallout 4. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. Ah, uh, to power armor or not to power armor? I have Ballistic Weave, I'm fine. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor is ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Pull yourself together and get up onto that platform. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter, 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking, but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. Ah, Goss Rifle's no good in close quarters. Dog, okay. I can deal with that. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please. Step into the elevator.
Everything's so clean. interpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Is that him? Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please, calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been re It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. 
I am Sean. I am... your son. <laughs> like, one of them is just bullshit. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. I just uh, this really is a matter is of importance. I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. 
You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? It's a very interesting little twist, actually. Not too unsurprising, but still interesting. Like it, it was spoiled for me that uh, this is a jo this is uh, spoilers, by the way. That this was a, a joinable I hope faction. Not too overwhelmed. But um, this is a good way for some people to easily make that leap to uh, joining. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Son, you don't understand. I need these items.
I want to hear what their big plan is. My god. Kellogg is a killer. People are jealous. He's an augmented human being, a cyborg. Cause of their envy is more practical. He's already over a hundred. Perhaps he'll make it to 150, maybe even 200. Child Synth Project. Director Zimmer is still offline. Kellogg has gone offline. It's about preserving humanity, not some bizarre fusion of biology and technology. Oh, I could have just okay. Gotcha. Call this a clean floor. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Oh, I'm so lost. This is like the freaking 
first time on the Citadel all over again. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy my welcome. Alright, here's one. There's also a, like a some kind of serum here or something we need to find. Is that a gorilla? Dr. Holdren's Synth Gorilla project is showing promising results. Synth Gorilla. Come on. There we go. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Humanity's future is taking root right here. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Committee. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, We've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Most men lack the patience to observe and document plant growth. Hey, Doc. 
Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very... Working on something important? Uh, all of my work is important. Now, if you're quite finished, they're difficult enough. Equations for what? Uh, honestly, you wouldn't understand them. Now, I'm afraid I must hand... Okay. I don't see... Virgil's Serum. And I know this is where he worked. Thankfully, I still have dog meat's uh, carry bonus. Our special guest has arrived. Be polite, accommodating, and welcoming. You don't often receive visitors from the surface. I can count on all of you to extend a hand of friendship. Let's make a good first impression. Fathers approve the next phase of my synth, synth zoology initiative. Low priority project. Soil values, whatever. Plates. take too much in case there's even better loot to be had FEV lab here we go This does not look good at all. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. 
nice. Blacksmith Hammer. Six aluminum, oh my god, yes. Did Virgil run away from this? Got it. Black lab coat. What the... Dead cats? No way I could pick this. Oh my god. It's been one section and a bunch of speeches and we're already 40 minutes in. The super mutants. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. The 
this will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Lots of... Mail! Mid-30s, poor overall health, post-submersion, standard results, discarded. Female, late thirties, moderate health, rapid decline in physical condition, deceased. Male, early thirties. Slightly higher than average, tagged, discarded. Terminated. Female. Aggression far above no normal parameters. Terminated. Unintentionally terminated. By another super mutant. Terminated. Also killed by that other super mutant. Form Dr. Zimmer directly. Wait, was that the guy from Fallout 3? Soon the lead role. Similar to test runs over the past five years. Nothing new, always the same. No tests. Are bringing in any valuable information. Why are we continuing this? Interesting. This place is just weird. 